Second Life is a virtual world that is social and it's user generated. So it's an environment with millions of users but without game mechanics. A virtual social world and where the social part of it, the multi-user part of it, the three-dimensional part of it, that's the real power of Second Life. There's over 400 universities in Second Life that do everything from recruit and market from, for their campuses by recreating their campuses all the way to actually holding courses in Second Life where students log in and participate in the class. I've learned to build in a 3D environment a lot better and I've learned programming and Photoshop skills so that's just using Second Life. From the course perspective, from the, the teaching and learning perspective, was we use Second Life as a collaborative platform as one component to enable interactions between the faculty and the students, but we also had places where the students themselves could meet, where their team could collaborate together and move their specific projects along. I've learned a lot of um, research methods and um, economic theory and things like that from lectures that I've attended that I would have never been able to attend and meet with people I wouldn't have been able to meet before. In Second Life you could start a business, a real business that could actually make you a profit for you know twenty or thirty dollars and have a whole class working on you know one business, one corporation in there and actually testing those ideas out with real people and real consumers but with no um, no risk. This is not a fad. It may not be Second Life in a few years, it may be something different, but collaboration, cooperation, training, um, virtual work, work environments are not something that's going away.